It's been 84 years. <laughs> Alternatively, you could insert the Living Tombstone FNAF 2 song. Either one works, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think somebody on the Patreon like uh, calculated or recorded the time. Let's see. Recorded the time. Let's see. Uh, January fourth, twenty eighteen. So twenty eighteen. So two thousand and five. Five. Well, two thousand fifty five days. Fifty five days. Dang. <laughs> that's uh, that's a long arc, and we're not even a manga. Oh, book and left hand, he's hey. back. <laughs> Speaking, I couldn't hear you. I got so alone. <laughs> oh, is something wrong? You, 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 you were sad possum. It was sad possum oh, yeah. hours. I couldn't hear, hear or speak. I did hear like an you possum. Like a, I did hear like an echo coming from like someone's end. So I don't know if like if someone didn't have their headphones in or whatnot. That might have been me. All right. So, essentially, five years, seven months, two weeks, and two days. And if you were to count the jumpy surprise, the birthday one, back in October, that's, yeah, almost six years. You have the exact time frame? Well, s somebody on the Patreon, like, wrote it down. Uh... Here, oh, let me go, let me... Copy and paste wow. the post. you know. Here we go. It was this. Fine. Two thousand and fifty-five days, two hundred and ninety-three weeks, sixty-six months and three weeks, five <laughs> years, seven months, two weeks and two days. I'm not gonna bother to see how far it goes in October thirteenth. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just acknowledge long, too long. Some would say more and than more honestly, than. Oh, go ahead. It's actually not as long when you take into account all the various hiatuses for, that went on, and not to mention the series has long stopped doing the once a week thing that it used to, because just too much work. I, I guess to get. And, and you know, they have a game week. that they're making. Yeah. Yeah, which they've been working on since. Um, well, they announced that they were going to do it in 2018. So, and the campaign was like May of 2019 or something like that. So, and I don't know. And I think, the, as I've said before, the problem is that Brandon does most everything. There's. Yeah, yeah he, he, I think. <laughs> his his delegation has gotten better, but. Ooh, it's gotten gotten better at the delegating thing, but he still has to do a lot of the main stuff, and honestly, a lot of the heavy lifting. Now yeah. that the arc is over, we don't have to worry too much about him, you know, splitting himself in half to do stuff. Yeah, and honestly, as on. much doing a little bit of a retrospective, uh, Doodles. When did you create the Irma Discord? Uh, it's like October of 2019, I think. I could actually, I can probably check, hold on. Here, I'm not sure. It probably if says, I missed my, details or some server I missed my old account. account. Sorry, what'd you say? Uh, I really missed my old account because. Oh. I yes. missed the old account too. It's so much has happened since then. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, because hmm, I was hoping it would be a thing that told me, but well, I could probably check the Reddit, and that would tell you when I made the server because I promoted it, being like, "Yo, if anyone wants to show up, promote it." Yeah, are we ever gonna promote the server again? Because you know we've been stuck at what seventy-five people. Yeah, seventy-four. I honestly feel like it's better to not have an overwhelming number of people. Both because I feel like it would be harder to manage, and because let's face yeah. it, there are members of the fan base that are very, very weird. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I understand completely, but I feel like if we knock I mean, those we're weird out, too, but it's like a more manageable weird. 
But in all fairness, it's fair to say that 85% to 90% of the people in the server do not talk. I'd say 70% have not ever talked. That is probably true. Yeah. We have like less yeah. than people that regularly like since, communicate that. Since when was the last time we heard from Stranger Danger or Tarda or Tyler Clock? <coughs> Didn't didn't we or, ban some of those? I mean, I think then the only pretty no, much ban we ever rescinded was was Grim Comics. N64. Yeah, because you know, that was, and that was because like his his warning parole thing wore off, and it was like, okay, you, you get back in, just don't do it again, and that's it, really. Yeah, yeah but yeah. that's anyway. You know, off topic. We're talking about the logistics of running a itty bitty little server. Yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, the three people that got banned were, um, I think Trolls. my old count, uh, Savage Genius, and Ronin, who is a complete scumwad. Oh my god. Oh, I know I, y'all haven't yes, checked I remember ads remember on him. him. I've been checking up on him every now and again. He yeah. is just getting worse and worse. Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, I hate uh, him. On his own head, be it. Oh, and to answer your question about how long the server has been up, I just right clicked on uh, your um, your profile doodles, and it says you've been on the server since October nineteenth, twenty nineteen. So uh, about four years. That would be the day I made it then. Yeah. So that'd be the day I made it. Okay. I wonder how long I've been here. Oh. Well, here, let me find out. Right. October. Uh oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, my old account was like. I think like I know I was in school when I joined. Actually, I was I was in gym class when I joined the server. Glad to see you that you were embracing the Irma tradition of skirt of skirting gym class. <laughs> <laughs> the end of gym class, in all fairness. So I was walking back to my locker room as I was joining. You you, you checked the Irma Reddit uh, when you were walking out of gym class. Now, during gym class that day, I was actually walking around the entire perimeter of the gym, and, you know, they let you use your <coughs> phone since you're not really doing anything except for walking. So, yeah, yeah, I was just perusing. No, it wasn't the Reddit. It was actually under a Tapas um, comic. Well, yeah, I guess I did. Yeah. I did post it there once, I think. And that was the one that I found. So, uh, you know, Kismet. It was meant to be. <laughs> Indeed. I think that's the correct use of that word. I don't know. There was, there, there was a point last year, I think during like the sixth month hiatus between like April and September, where I was like, there is absolutely nothing going on here. Why do why don't I just close this place down? <laughs> oh my God. And I... <laughs> And I, and I am ultimately glad I didn't go through with that. But there was a there was a legitimate point where it was just like, this is, this isn't, this isn't worth doing. Yeah, I mean, I and can understand it. Was, it was just it was a hard time. Yeah, just hard times, like creeping in though. It's just like I I just want to quit already. I just want to end it. Well, I take back what I said. That sounded very dark. Uh, I just yeah, want to throw in the towel. There we go. <laughs> throw in the towel. Yeah. Retire. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's enough activity on the server now, even if it's you know still not a mu still not much, even if it's only like ten between ten and fifteen people, you know. Yeah. That's worth keeping around. That is, yeah. And, and not, not to mention, I enjoy talking to you guys, and you know. Yeah. Doing the yeah beating and all that, but dang oh dang. Anyway, I guess we should get to uh, finally uh, talking about the uh, final chapter and do a just a nice little retrospective on the entire arc and what has really gone on since that nearly six years this has been going on for. Oh God, don't remind me. Oh. Okay, so it all started on a. Summer or whatever afternoon. 
There, I'm just putting, yep, putting sleep path that. there before anyone else does. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the, 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 oh the gift from on. the Santa Claus where he shaves the beard and it instantly grows back is also, I think, a pretty fair one. Although this this one's probably this one's probably funnier. I think <laughs> I don't like describing it, but so oh, oh this one. <laughs> <spin, laughs> we we also yeah. talk about. This woman right here. <laughs> what the? She was the first one. That's like that I uh, uh, home sweet home. Oh. Nothing like being a town freak. <laughs> the, the town it's weirdo. The fact that her, her mouth is just on the side like an anime character. Oh. It also kind of looks like her neck is extraordinarily long. Oh, if only Simp was here, he would. Yeah. Know. Oh, it does. It kind of does, yeah, because, like, ah! frick, I forgot what his name was. You Michael? can just see her neck, and then Mike's arm is blocking the rest of her torso. So you don't know how long her neck is. It could be a very long neck. She has, like, a pencil neck. Probably not. It's just a visual thing, but... She has a comb body. No shoulders. So just... T t speed speed recap, re round. You get a letter. You go to... You travel halfway across the world to meet to see your family for the first time in 10 years. Your sister's a racist and she runs off. <laughs> your sister is racist? You can, we, can we also talk about... Can we get, can we get like, the chat for that one dog that got snatched off by that one thing? Being the oh, right. And then, and the yo uh, yes, the yokai messenger did make off with someone's small dog as it was leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Like, so let's see. Hmm. Ah, we're on the first chapter of the, we're on the first installment of this 300-page arc, and yeah, there's already a death. Wow, this is, this is gonna be, I'm gonna be in this for the long haul. First death. You <laughs> missed your rat dog. Why not your parents aren't there? Your yeah, sister tries to send you home. You decide to stick around after all, and she's like, well, whatever happens, it'll be your problem. I'm not taking care of it. This is a lie. <laughs> we also talk about well, Oh, goodness, I just noticed this right now. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, hold on. We talk about how gigantic Emiko is here. Wait, which, which, uh... <laughs> now you've tuned it out and I she's... can't unsee it. How, oh, oh my god, like she is! is. <laughs> what happened? She's like a titan compared to <laughs> I, I know Felicia <laughs> is, like, bent back a little bit, but... I mean, come on! Look that how I'm sorry that Odin. that look that doesn't look right. She looks like she's a looks like she's a secret member of the of WWE. She's gonna start wrestling the ref. <laughs> oh, I know exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> as soon as she told off her father Osamu, she instantly like straightened her spine and immediately just. <laughs> this is what got that's, her chin that's up. Like, yeah, it's, like, it's like when the time cut when the time in the art comes for everyone to. The series comes for everyone to beat up Osamu. It's just gonna be like, oh, he can't take anymore. And here's Emiko with the steel <laughs> holding chair. Oh my lord! Either she grew or Felicia <laughs> shrug. Well, I, I think, think Felicia, Felicia is shrunk. mostly dead inside for having to take care of the hell dog for a week. The but hellhound. Damn, David Vulcan, I can't unsee this. Thank you. It was something that popped I mean, up I... subconsciously, but I never really thought of it until now. It's like, dang it. It's just like, so, Mr. Williams, what do you like best about your wife? She big. Big. So, no. Big wife. Big wife. <laughs> big uh... most wife. <laughs> <laughs> You go around the city looking for your sister. Turns out, while you're out, the kids run off, and you think, oh my god, they're gonna die. They do. Then it turns out, everything's fine, and everyone hangs out for a week. And then your dad comes back. He's a passive-aggressive asshole, as usual. <laughs> and you're like, I know you're up to something, I don't Ask know what, but I know you're up to something. And he, and he basically says, that's great. I don't care. If I don't care what you know or what you think you know. It doesn't, it does not matter one iota to me. You spend the rest of the net, you spend the rest of the day in a you spend the next 24 hours in a shock coma, being one reconsidering every aspect of your life up to this point. Vegetal. 
Like, you go on the nice parade thing. It's nice. It's actually nothing goes wrong. It's quite surprising, really. And then your daughter's missing. She's been turned into a hell demon. She's going around <laughs> eating people. This is going to be really, really awkward tomorrow. Thankfully, yeah, with the power, of, the power of light and weed whackers on your side, you make a mass and calm down your frantic demon daughter. And now everything's on fire. Uh, it's probably best if you get out of town right now. You go, you you make as quick of an exit as physically possible. And you go home. The babysitter has been eaten by the dog. Somehow this does not rank on top ten of the most ridiculous things that have happened to you in the last week. This it has only been a week, but it feels like it was closer to six or seven years. I'm still kind of sad they didn't do something like, God, that was one hellish week. Week? It felt more like it, five we, yeah. years. Okay, that would have been, been too off the nose. Half a decade. They, like they did kind off. of make the joke of, oh, that week felt like it took forever. Which, yeah, I know. Thank you for the subtle acknowledgement there, guys. Yeah. Oh, God, it's been half a decade. I mean, I guess... Half a decade. And just to clarify, I've been recording for the past 15 minutes, so I got everything we were just talking about. Uh, no, oh, I, that's fine. I mean, like, oh, I, was, good. Good. I was just improvising that. that Yo, I'm that really Grant... surprised that Bryn, Grant, Bryn? Brandon didn't Bryn. kill anyone in the uh, in the Irma Freak Show meltdown, you know? <laughs> oh, some people like, definitely no one died. died. I remember how Brandon described it to me on the Patreon when I was like, oh, so no one actually died? And he's like, he basically nope. said, yeah, and and it's worse than that. Like the, the fact that nobody dies is not at all a bright point. Because no one died, but everyone was severely traumatized. Like the yeah, the but urchins still alive to get over it. Which, you know, eh, a little unclear if that was warranted or not. But well, I mean, like they they did hate her, so it, and they were willing to watch her die. So it's not even were if they were not they willing to participants. Yeah. Even if they weren't willing participants in the whole kidnapping thing, it was pretty clear that they assisted in that because they, the thugs were holding their some of their friends hostage. They certainly didn't have any... It was basically, we wouldn't have done this on our own, but we're not going to complain that we're part, taking part in it. Yeah. That begs the question. Were the three thugs even real? I mean, I, I know they That's were like the something. other stuff. But that is they... something I am very, very curious about because we've seen evidence for both to an extent. We we can assume that in their current forms they were made by Osamu's master craftsman, who's apparently very good at faking bodies, among other things. That's always a concerning thing. But whether oh, they yeah. were whether they were alive prior to that, if they're like souls are sealed inside that. Or it's like a zombie revenant sort of thing where they're, they're resur they were resurrected or whatever. Because we've seen, you know, like May's backstory of like being a carver and killing people that take her dolls. And Kiko going out on lakes to freeze humans to death. Like That was really so, messed up. So clearly they had, have or had some level of freedom and free will. So either or... they were all or they either they were alive at one point, or I like, feel like we're missing I I feel like we're missing something here. You notice yeah. that in both May and Kiko's backstory, that they're killing humans, only humans it seems. You know, so who's to say mm. that they're not, you know, being weren't always being spearheaded by Osamu himself? I mean, yeah, like they were just assassins. Like they were assassins. Well, they were or... like a, a remote controlled person. Yeah, yeah, and that the immense wall and the immense amount of power that Irma exerted just switched them off, True. and then yeah, they collected just... again, and they're just put in. And you know, they're on Osamu's chessboard in his in, the, in yeah. his room. It's like a nuclear so... bomb turning off all you know electronics. <laughs> and yeah, Irma's which, the MP. You know, it was also what it did, which brings the question. So I do think we'll find out eventually whether or not they are truly artificial or if they were living at some point well living in the in a sort of loose sense in, in, you know because, yeah you know ghosts and spirits and all that so we still haven't seen toru's backstory thing yet and i'm kind of surprised it's taken this long huh he's probably pretty boring 
he's a he's, he's yeah. a boy. But I remember Brandon was Brandon was just just said, you know, we're gonna we decided we get we were gonna give each of them a little backstory episode, and you will not sympathize with them at all. You will hate them even more. Yeah, yeah. Toru's just. A guy with a baseball bat. It's it's just big unga bunga. Like sm- that's smash, the entire smash, story. Man. It's just one panel of him. It's a page. It's just one long page of him just hitting people with a baseball bat. Beating with people. Bat. There's no there's no complexity to it. It's just it's just incredibly straightforward. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, oh. actually. I just realized Irma has a lot of friends. She she had seven people come visit her when she got yes. back. Seven people. And oh, that brings the yeah. question: How did they know she was back so quickly? <laughs> word, word, uh, <laughs> word gets around there quickly. Oops. Oh, I know, Sydney's yeah. rats. So we're all just hiding in the bushes. Sydney's <laughs> rats were just holed up in uh, Irma's house, and they immediately told Sydney. There we go. If you think actually, of... that that's 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 pretty plausible. Actually, if you think about wow. it, it could be like a nice little correlation back to the uh, surprise birthday party, though. Like, if you think about the one that kind of kickstarted this arc to begin with. In your house. So, you know, what goes around comes around. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just going to stick with the we're in your house part. That's funnier to me. Oh, I oh know. that I image. Love so much. <laughs> we're in your, house. On, me, we're in your walls. You don't mind, right? I did a pretty good job coloring that in, I, I will say. It was kind of a tough one. Just I'm just, I'm just reminded it. of the poster of... Is it? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's a poster of Sydney riding surfboarding on a tidal wave of rats. Oh really yeah, I, th- I think I had that in one of my comic books at the end, but it's in grayscale, so you know, grayscale. Yeah, it's in uh, it's in the poster magazine. Or maybe Irma's there the we one go. surfboarding on the rats, and Sydney's there. Yeah, we're in the walls. You don't mind, right? I think I gotta find the um, the one with the the, the wording because I remember I I saved a colored version of that somewhere. So anyway, um, so right now, what would you say were probably the biggest highlights of this six-year journey? Of, like, the story itself. Seeing Sydney again. Oh, my God. If you're, like, really thinking about it, though, because if you think about it, like, without any of the delays, this story probably would have taken, like, maybe half the time? Like, three, three, two years, maybe? Yeah. If, if he was just going on a weekly basis or whatever, there was just no side delays or anything. Mm-hmm. No side, pro- you know, like no side projects, just week to week to week. Maybe taking a cup, maybe taking like, I mean, you maybe taking a month or two off total across the year. Maybe, like maybe, I mean, I mean, usually it was like take a hiatus after Irma Ween for until the, until Christmas. But I'm not. I can't really even say the way it was before because I wasn't reading it daily then. So. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped at the page when Irma like first saw her family and she was completely freaked out by them. And it's like, yeah, okay, I lost interest by. And then I came it's, back it's like, like, well, well <laughs> done. And you just oh, came yeah. back and it's basically like, it's it's that bit from the Looney Tunes show where Granny is telling Daffy how she fought Nazis in World War II and he just keeps interrupting with, and then you died, right? Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, and they finally uh. like, but then the blob exploded and it blew you into a million pieces, right? You're not very bright, are you? I love that episode. I died. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, okay. it's like, but it's like I thought you died. Yes, but I lived. Well, either you died or you lived. You, you, well, whatever. Well, you can die inside. Um, I'm gonna, okay. I mean, character. No question here. Let's not even pretend we don't all know my, my answer to that question. But best. I'm going to actually try to take that somewhat, you know, like obvi- beside that aside. What do I think was the best story element? Yeah, the um, highlights. Um, wholesome, I, bit. I, wholesome bit. Wholesome bit. Um, well, I guess best wholesome bit. Well, I mean, I have a I have an obvious answer for that too, but we'll go with my number two Every answer, which is. Which is uh, my number two answer, which is Irma comforting Rin at the riverside, and basic, and basically without saying a word, as is the norm, you know, just you know, providing a, a comforting ear and just you know, family bonding. I thought that was very nice. Yeah. Like looking back on it, I think it was yeah. very well well handled. 
Um, and, you know, Blood, Moon, and Irma was also cool, but that's, we don't really know what any of that means yet. So it's probably not, not fair to list that one. I'm pretty um, sure I saw this, but he's not going to tell anyone. Oh yeah, I mean he he. I mean it was it was as far as I can tell, and I think as far as the audience can tell, it was a, a it was a it was ultimately part of the test and a show of power, being like, I'm old and I'm gonna die someday, but you're gonna have to deal. We're all gonna have to deal with this. <laughs> like you will. I don't know. I mean, and honestly, there's probably a lot more to it than than we know, and there's a lot of pieces we simply don't have. I think some of that stuff will we'll probably get some of those pieces in uh, the harvest, but um, before then, I don't know. <laughs> oh, with the character and that we that... can't say the name of because blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, who the guy? And, you know, he was there. He was there. He got eaten by he got eaten by the hair, and all the you know afterwards in the carnage. There's just his top hat. So I where did he go? I speculate that you know he's a tool for Osamu. I mean, it would make sense. He's either a, yeah, he's I mean, either honestly, a tool I, or some mysterious third party. I mean, yeah, think about. It. I, mean, it's, I mean, he's either he either works for him or he is or he is a rival of some kind. I think he works for him but, because well, there's I think he probably is one of his agents. Yes, it's possible that it it could be either one because you know, Spirit Bloom says, "All right," he, he stares off into the sky and says, "Your turn" or something like that, or your move. Your yeah, move, or, yeah, like it's all a a chess game, which, or it's it's like, guess, or, or you know, it's him doing his job. Now he's just waiting for someone to do his part. It's like, okay, I did my part, and clearly, just, just, I mean, it took him eight years to send that uh, that invitation or gift or whatever the hell it was. So, uh, <laughs> you know, was it ever actually yeah, explained he why Osamu waited time. till then, like when Irma was eight? I don't know. Maybe that's when she, you know. I don't know. Huh. That's actually I was going to say question. something, you know, oh, you know, maybe she has a whole bunch of friends, so she's all soft. Maybe we can see if we can work around that. Or, I don't know. Okay, so I had to take care of something real quick. And clearly, he's been keeping an eye on her for a while. So he's probably there to relay information, if that's why he's there. Maybe. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I guess we could try asking Brandon during the next Patreon live stream, but I wouldn't be shocked if it was just something as simple as he got tired of waiting and just wanted to see her IRL. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I guess that's, certain, that's certainly plausible. He's like, okay, how old Although, is she? Uh, to, eight or something? Okay, a, old I'm enough. Sorry, we're... I'm trying to remember if he has a if he has a picture of the night detective in his in his poster or not. Mm. He he has like a framed picture of Irma on the wall and a framed picture of I think the detective. Although you know what any of that means, who knows? That could all be outdated by now anyway. Oh wait, Osamu does in his room. Uh, no, uh, top hat. Oh. Oh 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 oh. oh no. I wonder what his face would look like, like if he wasn't invisible. Would he be like all wrinkly? Would it be would it be, would it be like a baby? I mean, face? it's actually kind of interesting. It's just his. It, he, I, it's. I mean, it's presumably it's his whole body that's invisible, but he wears gloves to the point where it looks like his hands are visible. So, I mean, I feel like his gloves. Like, he knows what he's you know because not everyone has a perfect hand eye coordination. So. If, if my hands were invisible, he, I he can't just, see his hands. He doesn't know, know where they are. Doing. <laughs> Maybe he has nerve damage in his hands, and his hands are invisible, so he, he can't tell what he's touching. So he has to, you know, put gloves on so he knows what he's doing. I'm, I'm totally reading too much into this, so... I'm <laughs> no, don't, don't worry, that's what we do here. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he has gloves so he can see what he's doing when he's playing video games, when he plays on a controller. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, just branding as he confirms that in the next live stream. Oh yeah, uh, Top Hat guy is a, uh, yeah, he's a, uh, he's a P PS4 gamer, yeah. He, he plays, uh, he likes playing, um, God of War. Call of Duty. <laughs> he likes playing God of War. 
Uh, it oh. reminds him of the old days. Bloody hell. <laughs> Uh, to this day, I have still yeah, no idea where the heck that clip is from. What clip? Th this, whoever the hell this character is supposed to be. That looks like it's from home movies. That, or maybe Pell's like, I don't know. Uh, Jeez. Uh, now, now I'm just, I'm laughing at this. I can't get over it. <laughs> um, well, I mean, what was your guy's favorite, uh, part and and or story element of this um anything with Tina, long she is a ray of sunshine oh my gosh yeah so surprising ray of sunshine all things considered yeah it was so nice functional they all are wait who'd you say ina so oh, okay. considering Cody, how dysfunction uh, sorry never mind no go ahead go ahead i know discord has like a this two second delay. I was commenting. She's remarkably well, you know, she's remarkably happy and upbeat for, you know, considering how dysfunctional they all are. Although I think ultimately she just hides it better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alternatively, there's no point in being, there's no point in being a downer, especially if everyone else is being a downer. Like it, it doesn't accomplish anything on some level. I, I yeah. imagine she's yeah. probably the uplifting one, though, probably because no one else there is, so she figures somebody there has to be. Yeah, yeah that, honestly, would, 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 that would track, yeah. I mean, and then you have Mayumi and Rin who don't really hide it. Yeah. Mayumi is the the quintessential concept of, I'm going to stay in my room and pretend I don't, making no noise and pretending I don't exist. Uh, uh, uh. Um. Yeah. But yeah, they're all they're all messed up and they're all psychologically disturbed in some way or another, and <laughs> all kinds. It's of all problems. part of a master yeah. plan. Thumbs up. Yeah, Certain well, final Samu parenting moment. <laughs> oh, one moment for me. You guys go on, but I gotta check on something. <laughs> Look at the early draft of the script where he was gonna impale his kid so he could get one so he could get the killing shot on it. Well, wasn't that just great? Wait, what? Wait, what? Um, it was uh, I think Brandon talked about it a while back in one of the the uh, the end of the tale of Osamu Yurimoto. It was going to, it was going to be Kentaro as a child would would walk out into the battlefield and distract the. Uh, Osama's rival for the head of the council, and Osama would not hesitate to run both of them through if it meant he won, which I think ultimately got scrapped from the final version. Yeah, uh, that can't would imagine be super why. Dark. Yeah, I mean, and that's still kind of what happens that he oh, distracts yeah. the the opponent, but actually run him through. Which you know, thank you know, like, eh, it's that's. Yeah, it's a sl slight bonus there, you know. Yeah. Could have been worse. Could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, remember, no matter how bad it seems, it could be worse. Yeah, you, you could it be fighting with Tommy with wet socks. That would well, suck. You only gotta fight fire with fire, right? Yeah, yeah man, just, what did I miss? Just, just beat up Osamu uh, while you're wearing wet socks. And sandals. Yeah. We've agreed that Osamu is in fact a pair of wet socks. Yeah. <laughs> that is that is his true essence. A wet pair of socks. <laughs> a wet, dirty pair of socks. Well to uh to anyway, to answer oh. your question on uh the highlights for the story, um I figure I'm not gonna really get a chance to elaborate this on the uh reading video, so I might as well just bring it up now. Uh <coughs> excuse me. Oh god, that! Oh god, this! <laughs> as soon as I was about to start talking, now this cough sneaks up on me. <laughs> oh my god, being sick sucks. <laughs> oh, sure it's it the worst. Oh, anyway, if I can. Oh my god. <laughs> Which, you gotta edit that out now. Oh my god! Now it won't let me speak. <laughs> I'll never get a chance to say anything. But uh. Anyway, what I was going to say was, uh, I wanted to talk about the whole 
Irma big... I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, though. The big demon reveal uh, transformation at the end. Yeah, Kraken mode. Uh, that? Yeah, I, I think they I think they just call it... I think they. I think Brandon's just called it Blood Moon Irma. Blood, yeah. Although, arguably, although he did make... He did make a point to note that it's not like another force possessing her. That's just that's just her. Uh, that's Irma Unbound or whatever, or like without restraint or something. Like there's no real title for it. It's just that's Our what she could character. do if she if she truly wanted to. I think is sort of the point. Oh, so she was she was basically aware during that whole point. She was just went unrestricted, <laughs> insane. Well, I mean. Uh, I feel like it was more of a blackout. Moment. I was a little was confused by the explanation myself, but it's that that you know the like the all the spirits in the tree like they were gone as soon as the tree blew up. Like it was still the it was just that uh, it was all the hatred and anger and pushed to the absolute limit. That's what to do. She wasn't really. It's arguably. It was. It, she wasn't herself. It was more of like the like. If we see the human half of her most of the time, that was the the power, the yokai half. Like not to say that they are separate entities, but that it's the other side of the coin. I suppose. Okay, I get what you mean. Like, yeah, it's a little little vague right now. I'm just kind of going with what I've been told and deduced. I get you, but uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, you guys say something about that. Anyway, get back to what I said though. Um, looking back at it, as much of a visual, visual, as much as a visual and conceptual spectacle as it was, I'm kind of mixed on it though because it was already like popping up at a certain point where a lot of us were kind of ready for the series to the series <laughs> ready for the arc to end and then it introduces this big new element which grand i think this was something that has been hinted that was going to happen a while as long as the series has been going on but then like it introduces another big grand element and then it goes on for i think maybe 10 pages and then it ends yeah that i i i do think that that you know the i think it was said at one point has been yeah that this was actually something they'd been planning since the beginning of the arc if not the beginning of the well not the beginning of the series but the beginning of the arc definitely it just took a lot longer to get to than expected and then i think they sort of made it they sort of trimmed it down because they knew that people were already kind of tired well Dying people were tired of the arc the, people it, were t it, people were tired of the arc so they wrapped it up quicker than intended like i i mean going Going like if you look through the on the on the archive, it feels like there's an entry missing. Like it goes right from Where? like um it goes from Emiko Sam and Momo looking at the you know, the expanding death hairball and it cuts to Irma in the in the darkness listening to the hatred and slowly their voices breaking through. It feels like that's too abrupt of a cut. Yeah. I like, yeah. It, it's not it's not uh, it's not like completely un unbelievable cut, but it feels like there was supposed to be something else there that isn't. Yeah. And I asked about that and I think I was told no, no, this is what it was gonna be, and I'm and I think I probably was like, uh, okay, sure, if you say so. Yeah, it, it feels but, like just speaking at it at like a sorry, interrupt just speaking at it at a reader to story, um perspective it feels like the story was just slowly running out of steam by that point i just realized oh wait we got to cut this down uh uh the, boom saved by the power of family relationships like power of friendship yeah part of the problem was that as we all know brandon and gator cannot help themselves when it comes to a new story idea they're like oh that would be great we got to put that in but uh, but i do think they were they were having trouble reining that running that impulse in and there was, I think there were, I'm trying to remember what Brandon said, that there were two things that they added last minute to that. And I think one of them was Momo's inclusion at all. Like, originally, I guess, just going to stick around that, the house with everyone else. 
And then they include her to be a living light source, which I find to be utterly hysterical. Yeah. There's no explanation for it. It just just kind of happens, and then it keep, and then the suit just kind of plummet keeps going. <laughs> which she, I mean, again, she like a, there's only like so much bright, time to cover light. things. But do you ever do you ever have that feeling when you're reading a, a, a comic or watching a movie or a show or anything, where it feels like they're giving focus to they're giving a lot of focus to some things, but there's some things that are fairly important that aren't being given a lot of attention and they're just kind of happening in the background so you're very confused yeah a lot about of what's going, going on, on. you're not getting you're... yeah i mean and obviously you know stuff doesn't happen in a vacuum there's things going on in the background that was like, the point of the one of the wrap-up page one of the first reunions end entry where it's showing like the fact that yeah this this was noticed the fact that the bl- moon turned blood red in the sky and the for no explainable reason that all the power in Japan went out like that. This was, you know, this was big news in the human world and then the yoka and the, and in the monster world in general, that everyone was taking notice of this. Mm-hmm. That so the point, it wasn't a self-contained thing. It would, it was very clearly noticeable and maybe the intent always was for the event to be over fairly quickly because the longer it went on, the more attention it would have attracted, which would have caused significantly more problems. That's more problems than the ten minutes yeah. it act, that it that it actually did. That's possible. Because but... oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, get, no, I was just get all your thoughts out of the way. Sorry. Because Kumiko you know, says something to the effect of like, you know, and the council is going to be asking questions about this, and. Please note, that's not the main yokai council. That's like the village council. There, there are two different councils here. And no, this is not explained at all. There's just two. This is not, this is not elaborated anywhere in the text. You're just supposed to figure this out. Maybe it but, is in like the, in the, um, the Sam's diary entries in the new comics, which I've still not gotten my comics at the time of this recording. Well, that's, 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 uh, that's kind of a problem because i mean i got mine like a month and a half ago oh no (laughs) i mean and honestly actually this is i guess this is technically paid content so we can't talk about it but wallace's backstory was actually really interesting to me and i think it has interest and i think it might have interesting implications uh related but that's that's a topic for another day that's complete but that's yeah that's that's for another day okay and not to mention, Vulcan got the ultimate dump of Sydney mom lore in the same <laughs> issue. <laughs> but uh, anyway, getting back but, to... Um, I don't know her name, which is a yeah, shame. Getting back to the free content. G- getting back to what oh. I was saying, yeah. Um, anyway, I, I, I get what you were saying, that like it was always intended to be short, though, but I don't know. The, the whole payoff still feels very anticlimactic, though. I still feel like, A, they yeah. should have just cut this element out and saved it for a later story or fully commit to it rather than just this halfway take they went through it legit this i'm not yeah but go ahead i'll let you go sorry oh uh, um no i want to i want to let you finish your point first i keep interrupting okay like (laughs) for anybody who's played this game this whole bit right here honestly reminds me of the resolved the um resolution of the sonic cyber corruption plot line in sonic frontiers how it's notably made a bigger deal throughout like the later half of the story and then once it goes into effect it's easily just resolved with the power of friendship when when you find out like when you when you end up looking for like the cutting room floor you find out there was supposed to be a lot more regarding that story that's what this honestly kind of reminds me of though was the resolution of the cyber uh, the cybernetic corruption that sonic got in that game yeah. Oh my god, it's security breach all over again. Oh god, I can't stand that game. Oh, oh god. Ugh. In fact, that there's more or less an entire quarter of the game missing that they decided to yeah. just throw out. And now the story, and like many things, with those elements, the story no longer holds water. Although, to be honest, it wasn't that good to begin with. Yeah, but it went from horror to that, that is... That is a very important element when it comes to doing any sort of media creation. If you're going to cut out something that is a major part of the story, you need to change things to account for that. You got, you got. And if you're not willing to make the changes to account for cutting it out of the story, you can't cut it out of the story. Because 
it would be better to have a full story that's poorly received than an incomplete story that's poorly received because it's incomplete. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather read something that's a complete pile of garbage than to read something halfway. It seems like garbage, but I won't know if it gets better or if it stays garbage because there's nothing left because they didn't took stuff out. See, develop, see well, publishers, I mean, this is why you don't rush your developers. I mean, publishers aren't going to care. They still yeah. want the money, but hey. Th- Never pre-order. Never pre-order. <laughs> don't pre-order. They yeah. already have your money. They don't have to try. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those, one of those, ah, yes, and now it's time for Dark Lessons of the ca- of our Capitalist Society with Doodles, Game Guy, and Vulcan. Oh, boy. But that's a subject Come in next week day. when we challenge the concepts of slavery, Racism and due and, process. And Vulcan's controversial topic of, I mean, hey, I kind of like money. I like you. I mean, money is nice, but money, it, there's like there's money. this strange idea of. Uh, nope, nope, we're not we're not getting off on this tangent. You cannot distract me. Um, I, well. I was I was about to say like we're not getting into deep like real world problems though over the discussion yeah, of a not, uh, uh, over the discussion of a comic about, of a yeah. funny ghost girl that goes ballistic. We are reading Funny Ghost... We are here to talk about Funny Ghost Girl comic with occasional drama elements. Not about not about our society. Yeah, not about... Well, our society. No. But, but yeah, I do think... I think... I think the... I think there would have... They... Dyslexia. Dyslexics are people poo. Um... Whew! Ellis for dyslexia. I'm not even dyslexic. Um... You can tell I did not do any preparation when I was trying to give off the plot line I was talking about in Sonic Frontiers, but I I hope you understood what I meant. That's fine. Now, that that storyline has its own own whole host of issues, but I think the problem was by the time they got to the, you know, the end of the night parade itself before the kidnapping and trauma and murder trees was that by that point, the arc had been going on for, you know, four and a half years. This is where it was always going to lead. They couldn't cut it at that point because then it really would be anticlimactic. But to a certain extent, would it really be anticlimactic if we never knew it was going to be there? Because they changed it. But... But but uh, alternatively, if they'd made the art go on longer, you'd have people like someone on our server, who I will not name, who was complaining about how dark and depressing it was and how they weren't having fun anymore. And that's with how and that's with it with the the thing being as short as it was. Yeah. People would have reacted poorly to the arc ending in a long drawn out or even longer drawn out uh trauma confrontation thing yeah it, maybe that wouldn't be as bad if there hadn't been so much time taken up before but where it was at that point meant it needed to happen and get wrapped up quickly because to give it the time it probably really deserved from a storytelling perspective it was kind of too late for that yeah there was if they went if they went on with the full scope they intended it would have just been dragging out more but if they didn't do it, they'll, then they probably would have had to wait even longer at a writer's standpoint to do this story because, God, what are they going to find another opportunity to bring up Blood Moon Irma again? I, there's one other character I could think of, though, but an opportunity like that probably won't pop up for another two years, I imagine. So they figured, you know what, let's just pull the trigger while we're here. But like I said, they didn't fully go yeah. through with it. But, yeah, and admittedly, it's a little hard to tell if this real. I mean, I I'm assuming this was all this this end point was always planned, but honestly, if you if you've been writing a story if you've been writing a story for four and a half years, you'd want to tell people that oh yes, this was always where we were going with this. Yeah. No, not not to be skeptical, but that's the kind of thing you'd say. You'd want to tell people yes, this. We'd always had a plan. We always knew what we were doing. We were always going to get to this point. It just took longer than we'd planned. I'm a little sad. Yeah. I'm a little sad we didn't get to see the story details of Irma forgetting everything, including her name. <laughs> yeah, that would have. I think that would have been a very again. Like there's just even as it was, there was too much. I thought there was too much cut from that story, and not enough cut in other places. Although the places where things weren't cut, I still like to cut. 
So I, I do don't like know. Something. And maybe when we get that, maybe when we get like that actual lore or art, lore and or art book later on down the line, maybe the maybe the the book version of the arc will have like notes being like, yeah, this was going to be something different. This was going to go on longer. Uh, we ultimately didn't go through with it, but that information probably won't come out until they've actually used those ideas. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I just realized something. Uh, sorry, are you done, Doodles? Um. Eh, but yeah. I just realized something. So, <laughs> I was, I was joking when I made that comment about Irma forgetting everything, but then I realized, oh wait. Based on how that segment of her actually seeing her family at the pool, it does kind of correlate with that idea when I was making that joke, though, because I was legit just pulling that details from the cut uh, Sonic Frontiers content. And I just realized this when I was looking up the pages. That whole Blood Moon Irma thing event, that happened literally a month after Sonic Frontiers released. What a freaking coincidence! <laughs> Refresh my memory. When did Frontiers come out? October? November of uh, 2022. Okay, because it's... I I mean, I, honestly, Brandon probably took some inspiration from Frontiers, because I know he's played it. But, I mean, we saw the design for Blood Moon Irma all the way back in May of last year. Yeah, oh... So, oh. At, the very, at, at the very least, that parts of that were already planned. Like, they'd already done... the They already... The concept art already existed. Did, did, did we so. ever tell anybody, though, that Brandon accidentally leaks the Blood Moon design? Like, I think, like, almost two years. Like a years. month or two before he actually showed it off. Yeah, two um, years before. I don't know if he did. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, well, yes, I actually did make that. I think Brandon com like made a tweet a couple days ago about how uh, the, the April Fool's Day, Edgy Irma... It's like, you know, it's amazing how many people thought I was serious about this. And I think I responded... Well, I mean, it's it kind of ended up being true. I don't think anyone noticed I said that, but but yes. Ooh. Oh, here, let if me you look. if you put if you put Edgy Irma in silhouette, like just kind of black, you know, made it made it just a shadow. It looks remarkably like Blood Moon Irma. Yes, <laughs> although I think without the horn. So actually, shoot, yeah, that is <laughs> that is actually kind of hilarious. Blood Moon Irma was basically Edgy Irma, except not cartoonishly over the top except not a joke yeah and i think without horns sorry does it i just realized Brandon had to show us specifically on the live stream that yeah she has she has like tengu horns out, coming out of the top of her head but you can't really see it because of the writhing mass of hair so which again brings up the question if those are always there or if that was just if they only manifested at that moment. Hmm. So. Maybe they're like cat ears and they just fold down. <laughs> yeah, they just, they just fold, fold down. Full. That's actually really funny. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that, that mental image. Full, <laughs> sad full, yeah. foldable yeah, ears. It's like a, it's like a you just feel like, but you hate the entire down. village, that cat face. How did you know I can't do that at you? <laughs> Wait, does Felicia own her own house? Because in, in the mo in the second page, That's the most good question. Not only does she say house? the word God, which I don't think it's ever been said before in the comic. She look at the house she owns. It's a nice ass house. I mean, she's still Where in high school, so she's probably still living with her parents. Yeah. Yeah. You are not. Well, it's good, no, it's like good house in Illinois. Not. I don't think we'll ever yeah, let that, one, that particular thing go because I think it's it's innocuous enough that it's just they totally forgot and didn't want to admit it. But uh, yeah, I wonder if this is the first mention of the word God in the comic. Maybe. I mean, well, we I have mean, seen not... Brandon just floating off in space. So I mean, yeah, who's, who's saying... apparently considered to be in the same tier as Dracula. Ah, think I about see. that. Just some floating guy. Not to mention state. the person, the person outside the cafe who's looking up. I know you're up there. Oh, that's a, that's a little little concerning. <laughs> um, but um, let's see. What was the? 
Oh man, I mean, there there was that early strip where Amy's asking her, like, "What do you what do you think about creation? Where do you think life came from?" And she's like visualizing like gods and stuff, and sees Irma crawling down from the tree on her hands and feet like eating like, bird or like, something like, with a squirrel yeah. in her mouth. And it's like, you know what? Knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just magic. Uh, and it's yeah, kind, kind weird, of had a weird thought the other day, which was that like we're done with with we're done with a, with story arcs for a while. We're just gonna have like some lighthearted kind of strip fodder like we used to have in the long gone years of 2017 and earlier. And I'm like, man, I've never been reading the comic during that time. What was it like? <laughs> I have. <laughs> like, the, over half the comic's lifespan has been spent on this arc. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's just weird to think that we're going to be go to going essentially back to gag -a day content for a while. <laughs> Newspaper strips. Which, I, honestly, Please. levity is needed, I'm but hoping. still... I'm praying that we do go back to those. I miss those so much. I do as well. I think, I, assuming the plan has not changed, I think we are going to be getting a, a very lighthearted gag -a day stuff for a, for a while until we start up next, uh, next mini arc or actual arc or whatever. I also <laughs> kind of realized that over the course of this arc, we haven't really been seeing much of Irma as like, the creepy ghost child that the, that she started out in the strip as. No, yeah, she's you played know, relatively straight like throughout this whole story. In the you know in the village, you know she's just what she's just she's a bit weirder because of her origins, but mostly she's you know a normal kid in extraordinary circumstances. So it's actually like a lot a lot of like the darker edge that you, you that we used to see in some of the older stuff like that really wasn't present and I wonder if there if there just wasn't a place for it or if they're you know kind of phasing that that some of that out. I, I hope like they it's, don't. It's right. Yeah. Me too. Because I but I mean like this the one that you posted where she brings a cat up to the hot dog stand to use it as a condiment. Like that's that's kind of gruesome i mean it, it, we don't see him actually do it but like the patient. implication yeah yeah mm. but yeah that, that's an interesting analysis so, like, that is something that was in the back of my mind while this whole story was playing out and i guess i could definitely see the logic though but then you also had that one scene where the <laughs> i guess i'll just call them the traitor oh, kids yeah. The, uh, the trader kids with her asking her, it's like, what can you do? And then she, like, starts, like, taking, like, a, a bucket of water and a bunch of stuff that would starts just, like, doing tricks with them. She doesn't do anything, like, out of the ordinary creepy like she would back at Blairwood. Like, no, it was it was played for straight. Yeah. Yeah. And I do kind of miss the whole creepy th side of her, you know. Yeah, creepy but cute. So that sort of yeah. creepy but cute aspect yeah. was kind of... It's kind of lost because I think like there wasn't Halloween really much of a of... place for it. I feel like it I kind mean, of went from Halloween kind of gags to, you know, mythological horror sort of thing. Yeah. You know? maybe, maybe they, maybe in the end, maybe looking back oh. on it, Brandon, did, Brandon and the team did kind of go overboard in the lore and the, the <laughs> mythology and whatnot, establishing too much of it too quickly or establishing a lot of it very quickly. And not really having a whole lot of room for other, for the, like, there wasn't a place for a lot of the gags. Like, oh my God. I mean, it, it makes, a, it seems a lot better when you're, when you're reading it from a book perspective, I'm sure. Oh God. But oh. Like, most of the time the strips don't have a punchline. They just, they end like they're just a page in a, a chapter in a book. Yeah. Which, you know, they, not everything needs to end in a joke. Sure. But it felt. It, it was. It was. They definitely leaned a lot harder on the telling a story aspect than the, I don't know, funny. And something doesn't have to be funny. Oh yeah, I mean, it's good to mix things up. But right. so, you know, five and a half years. But or, for five years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In all fairness, I will say that you know, considering the whole game situation, everything that they're doing, Tales of Outcasts, all of the stuff that they're doing. I can understand why they don't have, why well, Brandon didn't have enough time to, you know, spice things up and not do the, um, the normal funny comics. I, I can totally understand. Yeah. Also, look yeah. at this photo of Cyrus. 
<laughs> I was gonna say he, I was gonna say he was in his he was in his awkward years, and it's like no, no, he he still looks like that. Well, you know, like he looks like I a, mean, even Cyrus, like he's, he, he used to be a lot uglier. Hair. Let's let's be real. I, I prefer his that was. Like a, a lot uglier. Yeah, uh, cuter. I like imperfect Cyrus. They, they, they made him into a marketable plushie. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, they'll all buy one. Well, at least I would. I'm not sure about it. I can't say that about you guys specifically, but well, maybe. I know I would. But, but that's because I will buy just about anything Irma, because I am a, because I am an un unrepentant, unapologetic consumer shill. I will buy it. I will buy an Irma anything. fanatic. <laughs> an Irma head. I will take that to my grave. I will buy anything Sydney. And this is... <laughs> the whole reason I even uh, got into the Patreon, because I knew that there was a piece that had Sydney in it, and Doodles wouldn't confirm or deny it. He said, oh, it, it might be. I'm like, Doodles, it, it I don't it remember is. that, but that does sound like me, so. It was. It was It was that beach one I was talking about. Yeah. Like, Doodles, that, your that Patreon. That was the very start of the Patreon. That, and you're like, no, sorry, I can't show you or tell you if it is or isn't Sydney. Buy it yourself, you broke bastard. Okay, I, I took some creative oh, liberties on that last you know, bit. Honestly, but, um, I, I feel I actually do feel about that now. I, I used, I think I used to be a lot more uh, rigid about the idea of sharing anything from the Patreon. To, to and nowadays, I have to remind <laughs> myself not to do that about half the time. It is. I, feel, yeah. I mean, it is kind of against the rules to do it, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I feel like it's like, illegal. It's, it's technically stealing. Yeah. And distribute distributing it, it, stolen it content. Is. Yeah, there's so which is a crime. Shouldn't so. be. Sh yeah, Patreon exclusive stuff stays Patreon exclusive. Same thing with the paid comics. If you can't mm -hmm. be bothered to buy it, because or let's don't be honest, money. the comics, the, like the the mini comics, they're not that expensive. The Okai book, okay, fine. I'm not saying you should pirate like, it or anything, or you should look up a video, but that one is expensive. I will freely admit that. Hey, here's, but here's my full just, like five bucks. Here's my full justification, though. If you're gonna pirate, <laughs> at the very least, do it to bigger studios who can take it, not small indie studios. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, God, remember I, um, I'm that not, one? Again, I'm not I, endorsing... Yeah, I'm not endorsing I'm not it at all, but if you gotta pick and choose, for the love of God, don't I'm do not, the little guy. I'm not gosh, media adaption. Do y'all yeah. remember that, uh, that YouTube account? That, uh, media like, adaption or Irma Uncut? Because they did the same thing, ultimately. Uh, yeah, both of them the did. The second one. Irma Uncut, man. Yeah. I've, I've literally already forgotten. They were both... They, they were both pretty much doing the same thing. I think... I think Uncut went down first because I think he tried to make the the, he the tried Kickstarter. To make yeah, and I think yeah, yeah. Cause you, you and I think Media Adaption money. ran into the same problem that he was posting the paid comics, and it was fine. It's fine to post the free stuff, but the paid stuff is paid for a reason. Yeah, yeah. And I know. do regret that time like a month or two ago where I showed off some pages from one of the individual comic issues. I did think they were interesting. I was kind, and one of them was commenting on one bit that I still found creepy, and pointed out, "Hey, look, I almost been to Japan before. This has been retconned." But honestly, Wait, that was I was breaking I was breaking my own rule, and I will. And I, when I kind of clicked for me, I was like, "Oh sh." No, okay, it's yeah. fine. Nobody oh, really yeah, it's that. I know, it's but like, it's sort of like uh -oh. I I run the place. If I can't, if I'm not beholden to my own rules, why should anybody? Yeah, yeah, that's an example, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, so I can own four servers. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I only own two servers. Well, actually, no, I only own one server. I own... I'm a mod on another, but that's... I don't actually know how many servers I own. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already like, six. I'm surprised I'm not the stereotypical <laughs> fat Discord And they're all possum related, right? No, no uh, memes yeah, in general. Yeah. I do like I I do like power tripping it my my little mind off when it comes to being a moderator though. Did, did you post memes? Yeah, I know that yeah, makes you better not have posted memes. There is something fun about about uh, there is fun there is something a bit fun about you know like knowing you have a lot of power. Oh yeah, and I mean, knowing yes I could do that, 
but I'm not going to because I'm yeah, better. I really do love just pushing as much power as I can over my uh, over the gremlins that I watch over. I, I really like how they can't do anything. <laughs> oh, I'm like, such an asshole. Oh my god. There, there are there are there have been times over the last couple years of the server where I have felt like I am policing a bunch of little gremlins, and the old me guys is opposed to voice chat about like, just like me pointing at you and the you the baby Shiba in the shopping cart. <laughs> no. I or mean, he's just standing there menacingly. Oh yeah, I, I remember or, that one meme that I made where it's why is it always you three that get in trouble and it was me Dang it, and I was trying to find it. <laughs> I have that somewhere. I, I do have I have that. I, I have it too. I just where'd I put it? <laughs> I probably put it in my, the art in the folder where I put like all my commissions and stuff. Oh, uh, it was like two. It was like two, two or three, two or three years ago. There it is. It's it's literally just titled HP meme in the folder. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Why is it when something happens? It is always you three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! This was when I. Oh, this is embarrassing. This was when I I was using Discord Lite. You know, where everything, instead of being that slightly blue tinged gray, it's white. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why anyone would yeah. do that. Like, you, you like, can kind of see it. I don't people to do, but why would you do that? I'm not. Like, it just, it just feel like that would really hurt your eyes. I'm not giving you crap, glass, for it, but I cannot go back to Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Disc Detroit. Discord Light Detroit. That sounds like a weird, like, Metroid ripoff. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit become yeah. human. <laughs> see, okay, let's see. I know I have another. I know I have another one of those stupid memes, but let's see. It can't be this far back. So that was before I established the server. Where is that third one? It wasn't that one? It wasn't that one. It wasn't that one? No, that's not it. That's not it. Um. Oh huh, yeah, whatever. Eh, I'll find it some other time. Um. Eventually. There's, there's definitely one. I think it was. I think it was one Yugo made. Of just, just pointing at the at the sad Shiba in the shopping cart. No. Sad Shiba in a shopping cart. Hold on. I, I'm gonna look for it again. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, it's like a picture of like a sad-looking Shiba Inu in a shopping cart. Kind of looks oh, like cheese. Team Sky. Oh yeah, I guess I did hear about that. Uh, as long as Doge doesn't die, I'm. What? I'm like oh, earlier when you thought Charles Martin had died. Oh god, no, he's that fine. was so mean. Still, you God, god said speed. That he was retired. I thought you guys knew already. That's why I didn't. No, know. I don't. No, do I, know. I don't do Nintendo. I didn't provide the additional context because I thought you guys knew already. I do. And so, <laughs> to see you guys freak out over being like, "Wait, he died?" <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We still don't know who this. Oh my okay, God. we know who Armor is, but you no, know, the girl in the background. We don't know who that is. Honestly, what did, what the heck is like Brandon ever going to release that game like uh, prologue comic? Is that ever going to get released at some point? I, or like, is that story ever going to be told? I don't. Oh, sorry. What were you saying, Dulce? It. I, I shared that on the Discord because I don't think it's coming back. You don't. I think it's. It's just an extra thing for people who backed the game. I don't think they're going to release it anywhere else. Like, not even, like, show it in-game as, like, a cutscene or extra or anything like that? It might be, It might be like, a cutscene or something, but you'll never be able to own the, like, the physical copy, though. I think they no, might release the, um, a digital version, but you'll never be able to get, uh, like, a, a, a genuine f physical copy unless you back the game. Yeah. I feel like that's, I think that's true. Because oh, they, could, they could, people would be like, oh, can we get a physical copy of this? And they're like, no, you didn't back the game. You missed it. No, we, bur no, we burned them all. Sucker. <laughs> God, you'll never get it. Ever. Hmm. 
He, it, it's God. You'll never see it. <laughs> Anime laugh. Uh, I, I just love how in this yeah. one you can just barely see Sydney's face in the background. <laughs> She's just giving a, a nondescript smile. Right. Hmm, maybe it's in my Irma folder. Oh boy, 1,469 items. This won't take long. Wait, wait how, how do you tell how many items you have in your folders? It tells me how many Magic. items I have in the folder. Wait, like in the properties? Oh god, oh. Oh, this is even more embarrassing. I have 1,444. What? Uh, Some of this is fan art, too. That's the amount of files I have in my Irma folder. <laughs> I forgot about that. And it is currently... <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I only have, I only have 12 images of Sydney on my uh, drawing tablet. <laughs> what the hell? All right, I'm not showing that. No way. That's not going oh, to the video. Oh, oh yeah. It's, 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 Why? It's the Hinden Possum. Hinden Poss, yeah. I hope you're aware this is Possibly. getting cut out for the record. <laughs> We're not doing any of this edgy Why? shit in my video. So funny. And by the way, Look, I just I, I just it was over a hundred years ago. It was a hundred years ago. No, no ago. edgy shit right yeah, here. I, I think anyone who it's actually anyone who actually got to see the Hindenburg explode over their heads is dead now. I think it's probably. Yeah. Dead. I'm pretty sure all the families affected are probably over it by now. <laughs> At the very least, I'm in this house. Let me post. <laughs> Spirits be gone from this house. Okay, can I at the very least post blimp post? Blimp. I mean, you can. They're, they're blimp, not going not in the so video, cool. but you can here. I did not mean. <laughs> I did not mean to send a chemistry equation. Honestly, I like that chemistry equation. I've been looking for that gif everywhere. Thank you for reposting it. <laughs> Let me see what else I can find in here. Because I've, I mean, I've been saving Does stuff for five have, years. Like normal I, ears, or when she's in rat mode, she has rat ears like that out of the side of her head. Yeah, and this this old image of back to human of the site stuff. being under maintenance. Oh. Brandon with the broken saw and Irma just hammering a, a board to the wall for no reason. I, I remember needing help finding that. that. Thank you for helping me with that. In the fact that Irma is even touching the hammer, it. It's just doing that. <laughs> yep. But uh, I, I guess back to the um, <laughs> back to the whole <laughs> uh, Japan saga, or I guess in this case the post of it. Um, so, what do you think is going to be for the future of Irma? Because I know we're probably going to get like at least a, a year of just nice run of the mill, uh, you know, uh, events for the week, stuff like that, gag comics as we usually did. But what do you think the next story arc is going to be? Not counting paid books or, or anything. Sydney. Or Sydney. Okay, so next, so the next free content is that? That's what you're asking? Yeah, the next free content story arc. Because I know one character that I've been really looking forward to. I don't care if this isn't actually her. I, 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 st I still think it would be. Um, I'm trying to remember what Brandon said on that. I hope he dug her name up at some point. The fact that he he forgot still kills me. <laughs> Where did that animation come from? Okay, that's new. It was one of the it was one of the posts for the game. Uh. But anyway, I guess just to correlate, in case nobody gets what I'm talking about, I would really. Really like to see a follow up to that um, old babysitter um, that, um, old arc that has been uh, hinted at ever since the end of the Wallace arc. I would finally like that to get resolved. I oh, I just realized I, something. I am I, I am trying to remember. Do not quote me on this. I think that might be next. I am hoping because I think by this point we've covered just about everything else that could possibly be covered before it. We've got Irma's origin down. We got the origin of how Sam and Emiko met. We got to see Emiko's side of the family and dealt with that horror ordeal. This just feels like the logical next step to go through, considering how long this has been teased. Oh, and here's the art of Irma playing uh, James with Chugga Conroy. Oh, that's Kirby, amazing. Who has a milkshake. 
I, I knew I had that in here somewhere. Thank you for that. <laughs> in that gif of Sydney and Irma, you can see Irma's eyes just bulge for, for like one frame. Also, I, I, I will always love this self-portrait of Brandon. He did, where he's done so much, his arm has shriveled and burned to nothing. How it feels to just overuse uh, your one arm for so long. So long. There's a reason he, I mean, I mean he had to take, well, the, only, the only acceptable hiatus was when he had to take a month off to recover from the carpal tunnel surgery. Oh my god, one of the many, many downfalls of being a workaholic. I'm sorry. I think we all know this, but who's responsible for this? Oh, uh, I, I'm the one that made that. I made that. Yeah. 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 I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm still not proud of that. Uh well, we. Uh, I think I saw the other. What about? We were young. What about this one? I mean, we still are young, but we were younger. Young. Oh Irma. God! Here's the other one. Oh. Here's the this one. This one's just this one's just labeled Sydney Possum Oh yeah. What? Oh here here's that. Okay, finally found that meme I was looking for. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah, I, I made this. I made this one too. No. No. Just like a dog who peed on your rug. No. Actually. That's exactly what he's done. You can see the little the little pads you put down for your. He's in a shopping cart. Turning your dog. Because <laughs> they had him in a cart and he they were worried he was gonna pee and he did. <laughs> oh, God. that's amazing. <laughs> what? What oh, the yeah. hell? <laughs> what is that? Sydney Barrymore. Sydney Possum looks like Drew Barrymore. Sydney, what the hell's the name of that this frog bee? This... Pepe, there we go. Pepe, yeah, Sydney Pepe. And this is how my house makes me feel. Oh god, that's not the stupidest Pepe image I've seen. Actually, I don't know. Was that too harsh? You know what? Screw it. I stand by what I said. I meant every feeling I hurt this day. Oh God, Irma with a buzz cut haircut isn't real. She can't hurt you, Irma with buzz cut. Make, make others suffer the way you have. It's my life philosophy. Oh uh, Lord. Uh, actually, that oh, reminds God. me. Oh, I also found that. Um. That actually reminds me. Oh no! Where is that? I remember that. I actually remade this. <laughs> exactly. Hold on. I don't know if I still have my version or not. Do you still have it? Uh, I don't have the original, Wait, but I that have. Doesn't the belong in this folder. I drew. I just gotta find it. Wait a minute. That doesn't belong. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is. I was looking for this. Uh, let's see which of these is better. I don't know, this one. What is this for? We never found out what this this is for. Oh, where is that? Lynch. Yeah, good question. Yeah, like Gator showed it off like two years ago on his own Twitter. And it was just like, and all, and all Brandon really said about it at the time was, this was for, so, some, this was for something later. And like... What? It's like, Irma is Irma, like, is Irma going to private school after this arc? What's going on? <laughs> that was actually my guess. And honestly, it, it still is. That is a... Oh my god. Oh. I, I just found the best thing ever. Oh no. Is it <laughs> the takes to post it on Twitter if chaos is needed? This is... Brandon posted this, by the way. This is not, this is not something I made up. This is something he posted. Topic one, the me's always looked ugly. Topic two, Tifa is just boobs. Topic three, Miles Morales' recent costume in the comics is trying too hard. Got 
Topic four, God help the bean mouth haters when they realize that Ardman's been doing that all along. <laughs> five, number five, Jar Jar is the key. Number six, gravy. Okay. You wonder why I like one, and That's because Vulcan posted the Sydney had to do it to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> first one, I don't really have a strong opinion. Two, so you chosen death. Three, I don't have an opinion. Four, okay, that's really good. Five, what? Six, yes. Gravy. Gravy, gravity. Gravy! Gravity. Gravity. Oh, hold on. I, I found it. Oh, yes, I found it. Hold on. Now I'm just thinking of those freaking Tifa Italian memes. You remember when that whole trend started? No. No. Do I dare explain the context behind that? No. No, leave it a mystery. Preserve our innocence. Yeah, I have everyone wondering. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just post oh, funny God, pizza I'm man really, instead. I'm still really proud of how this came out. That's cute. I do like how that turned out. We we just got yeah, we just got it's nice. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just agreeing. Yeah, that that did that actually came out pretty nice. Yeah, we've gone completely off topic what? about what we've been going on about and just started posting random stuff. <coughs> And I was actually trying to I was actually trying to find that picture of the um I already forgot what it was. Uh the dog. But yes, we did get off trap. Um I did mention that okay, I the last picture and then we're and then I actually and then we should actually get back to whatever elements of discussion we had left. God, get get it get out get it out. I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate that. Are Delete sure? it now. Are you Kill. sure? Yes, get it oh, out. All right. I hate that so much. I hate that I may have possibly could have been related to making that. I did mention I do want to see the next story uh, arc involving the uh, Connor's older sister, old babysitter. I hope that it's the case, but you know, you won't know until yeah. it happens. I, oh, I be do think Brandon me. said that Hold was. On. That that was something they were coming back to. That that was, I think that that was, I I do not quote me on this. I cannot remember what Patreon stream he said it on, but I do think he said that was the next story arc they'd be doing after the next like bigger story arc, not like so not a not a you know not this not as long as the Japan saga clearly, but like the next one that's like longer than a couple entries. Yeah. Guess what? what? I can't remember, so... Don't, Guess what? Don't quote me on these things. B, Sydney. <laughs> you mean Sid B. Sid B. <laughs> Sid B. Sid B. I remember I... The entire reason I made that... I don't remember why I made it, actually. Oh. So... You have no idea. Yeah, got it. No, because I, I think I was, like, watching a TV show, and there was, like, someone's kid was, like, dressed as a bee. I was like, that's a nice costume. Yeah, that that's inaccurate, actually. That is exactly what it's like. Yeah, because they eat honey. Get it? Because Winnie the Pooh. A poo named Winnie? That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard yet. Okay, no. All right, I gotta pick up an, uh, some animals in the morning, so I'll catch you all later. All right, take care. Okay, I think we're pretty much wrapping up at this point. I feel like we've talked about most everything at this point. Um, I, I know we did get pretty disjointed that's... though, but I do feel like a lot of our thoughts have kind of already been addressed in the reading we're doing so far. Yeah, because we we pretty much make off the cuff comments as we're going and. Yeah, you know, like, I, like I mean, there's, there were several points where I just midway through blurt out a thought that I'm like, wait a minute, and I see this before. 